Nazir Ahmad, soil scientist. Dr. Nazir Ahmad has conducted soil surveys and systematic mappings in over 85 countries investigating soil classification, basic soil chemistry, and soil management. He is internationally recognized for his pioneering work on the properties of clay soils and their nutrient holding properties. My work has been in almost all in soils, everything to do with soils. He was born on January 27, 1932, in a farming village on the east coast of Guyana. His boyhood days were spent helping his father, a subsistent farmer, tend animals and feed his family. Despite his heavy load of chores, he was a good student and attended the Mova Canadian Mission School, where he earned a scholarship to the Burbis High School. I was in a class with bright students. And that, that was very good because that was, there was a lot of competition. And uh, I was right up there with the brightest ones, you know, with the best ones. He wrote the Cambridge School Certificate and was accepted at the Imperial College of Tropical Agriculture, ICTA, in Trinidad. Securing a government scholarship to attend ICTA, he decided to take up the offer and gave up dreams of becoming a doctor. An ICTA grant allowed him to do postgraduate training. After completing, he pursued his master's at the University of British Columbia. He then took up a scholarship and obtained a PhD in soil science with Nottingham University. Ahmed returned to Guyana to work in the Division of Agricultural Chemistry and was appointed head of the unit. It was a different time, you know. That was colonial times and Local people, there was always um, uh, the problem raised that you're not well qualified, you're not qualified enough. So I made sure that I had the best qualifications. Dr. Ahmed spent 40 years at the University of the West Indies, where he worked tirelessly in teaching and establishing new soil science courses. I built here over the years what, what was a first-class department. The uh, people from anywhere, America, Canada, anywhere in Europe, and so on, when they came here, and they looked at what we had, our equipment, and so on, and, and so our work, uh, they were always very amazed how and they said, you know, we don't have, we, we are not so well equipped, nor do we do this kind of work in our own developed place. His work on tropical soils gained him international recognition. He had the honor of publishing a chapter in the definitive book, Soil Genesis and Soil Taxonomy, 1983. For his contributions to our region, he was awarded the IICA, Inter-American Institute for Cooperation in Agriculture, Gold Medal in Agriculture in 1995. Dr. Ahmed has served as a consultant on soil and land use problems in almost every developing country in the world, including Malaysia, Philippines, Senegal, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Nigeria, to name a few. Now retired, he is still active as a consultant, and in his free time, he enjoys woodworking, gardening, and auto mechanics. I would like to advise children to go, not to ignore the basics. They're all grounded in physics, chemistry, and maths. And any child should make sure that they're as grounded in these subjects as much as possible.